Tozer's very excited today because I've got a nice big tripe stick for him sitting behind me here and he can smell it. You know, they say that a dog's nose is between 10,000 to 100,000 times more sensitive than ours. And he's opened the gate and he's got his tripe stick and he's away. We'll just follow him around here. Didn't expect him to do that, but there you have it. Dog's nose, 10,000 to 100,000 times more sensitive than ours. And of course, dogs then are used for sniffer dogs, uh, for uh, tracing people that maybe have got lost, for sniffing out for drugs, and even for sniffing out disease. They have 300 million receptors in their nose compared with 6 million in the nose of a human. Tozer smells things before he sees. And one day we were at the school, I was there to pick up one of the boys, and all of these children were coming out of the school and Tozer was just ignoring each and every one of them. And then all of a sudden I could see him sniffing and his nose going and his tail starting to wag. And he looked towards the school gates and there was our boy, one of our boys coming out of school. And Tozer could smell him before he could see him. And we do wash our children. It wasn't anything to do with the, the smell of the child, just the sensitivity of the dog's nose. And the Bible has much to say about smell. Old theologians used to use the term anthropomorphism, which denotes a physical characteristic attributed to God. And one of the anthropomorphisms that the Bible uses is the nostrils of God. The Bible speaks about that in Psalm 18 and verse 8 and in other places. And whenever we think of man physically, our sin stinks in the nostrils of God. But the Lord Jesus Christ offered up a sinless life upon the cross. He fulfilled every jot, every tittle, and every precept of the law of God. And whenever he died upon that cross, his life was a sweet-smelling savour. His sacrifice was a sweet-smelling savour unto God. Ephesians chapter 5 says in verse number 1, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savour. That was prefigured at his birth when they offered him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The frankincense reminds us of his sinless life. The myrrh reminds us of his atoning death. And it all speaks of a sacrifice, a sweet-smelling savour unto the Lord. Tozer's away to try to smell out, see if there's any food that he's missed. He's got a great sense of smell. And whenever we think of our lives, naturally speaking, they're not a sweet-smelling savour unto God. But the Lord Jesus Christ offered one sacrifice for sins forever. You sit. Show the people how good you can be. You sit. Oh, he's not going to sit for too long. And Jesus Christ offered up a life, a sweet-smelling sacrifice unto God. And whenever we're clothed in his righteousness and we're washed in his blood, the Lord sees us in Christ. So trust that the Lord will bless you today, folks. And as you think about the Lord, you think about the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, just remember his perfect life is a sweet-smelling savour unto God. And as God looks at us, those of us who have trusted the Saviour, he sees us in Christ. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Isn't that right, Tozer? Say bye-bye to the people. God bless you all, folks. See you next time.